Okay then, so in the last tutorial, we started adding authors to our instance of MongoDB here, to the authors collection. Now, I just want to point out that I deleted those two test ones we did when we created mutations in graphical over here, which was Sean and Stephen. And I've just added instead Patrick Rothfuss, Brandon Sanderson, and Terry Pratchett. So I, I did that by pressing the delete icon right here to delete the current records, and then just making some more mutations for those authors right here, okay? So... We have this mutation now to add an author, but we also need a mutation to add a book. So I'd like to do that now. In the code under mutation, we're gonna create a new field after the add author field. So let us put a comment after that and then create another mutation called add book. So this mutation again needs, first of all, a type, and this will be a book type and then we also expect some arguments. So again, we'll say args, and this is gonna be an object with three different properties this time. We need the name, the genre, and the author ID. So let us say name, and the type of that name is gonna be a GraphQL string. So let's choose GraphQL string. We also need the uh, genre, and again, that is gonna be of type GraphQL string, so let's choose that. And then finally, we also need the author ID. So author ID is gonna be of type, this time GraphQL ID, right? Oops, capital D at the end. All right, so now we have these three different arguments that we expect a user to send when they make this add book mutation because we don't know the name, the genre, or the author ID. The user does, right? So they're going to send all of those arguments with this mutation. Now then, we need that resolve function so that we can take that data that the user sends with this mutation and actually create a new book and store it in our books collection on MongoDB. So much like we did with author up here, let us create now a resolve function. And inside we take the parent and the args. And inside the resolve function, create a, another local variable. Call this book. Let book equal to a new book. And remember, we can do that because we imported the book model at the top up here. Right? So we're using this book model now to create a new instance of a book. And inside the book, we need to pass through the different properties. So we need the name, which is going to be equal to the args.name, so the name that the user sends along. Then the genre, which is going to be args.genre. And then finally, author ID, which is going to be args.author ID. All right, so now we have those three properties on our local instance of this new book. So now we can take that book, remember, and we can save it to the database. And remember, in order for us to get data back after we've made this mutation request, we have to return that data right here, right? GraphQL takes care of which uh, properties to send back dependent on what we've requested to receive back in the query or the mutation. But all we need to do is return the value that this gives us, book.save. So that was simple, right? So now we've done that, let us check out this in the front end. Again, we're gonna make a mutation. This time it's called add book. And the name of this book is gonna be called The Long Earth. And we don't need an age property, but we need a genre property. That's gonna be sci-fi. And then we also need an author ID property. But what is the author ID? Well, when we create new records in MongoDB, it automatically gives us an ID, right? So I'm gonna take this ID right here because I need, not this ID, this one because I need Terry Pratchett. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it right here like so. All right, so I'm saying this is the author ID, which corresponds to Terry Pratchett. The name of the book is The Long Earth and the genre is sci-fi. Now, what properties do I wanna get back from this add book mutation when you've made that mutation? Well, I'll take the name back and I'll also take the genre back. Now, if I press play, then I'm gonna see that this works 
and we get these two things back. But has it been saved to our database? Well, let us go into um, the home, first of all, screen, then go into our database. Then we'll see that it's created now a books collection. Awesome. And if we go inside this books collection, we can see that we have the Long Earth sci-fi and this author ID matches up to the ID of Terry Pratchett in his record. Cool. So there we go, that's our mutation for adding books. What I'm gonna do now is just make more mutations to add all the different books to this collection right here, but I'm not gonna record that. You really don't wanna see me doing it. All I'm gonna be doing is adding the different properties right here so we have them to play with as we go forward.